welcome back. This is the uh, the video we've all been waiting for. We're finally going to be starting the performance engine that we've been building. We the high compression cylinder heads installed, the flat top pistons in there, the ignition timing has been set to just after top dead center. So all we have to do now is put the oil in there, add the carburetor, the exhaust, and we're good to go. The oil that we're using is an oil that you can buy off the shelf for this engine, CB40. Apparently it's used for alcohol and methanol fuels. So those fuels generally produce more water than petrol would as a byproduct. And of course, hydrogen's only byproduct is water, steam in the combustion chamber, coming out the exhaust, contaminating that oil. So we need an oil that can deal with that contamination. It's inevitable that the water will contaminate that oil. So we're just going to have to get used to the fact that we'll be doing more oil changes more often. But in the grand scheme of things, that's not much of a, of a big deal. So let's chuck the oil in there and get this thing running. Something I did forget to mention is I'm going to be using a very cold running spark plug. This is a BR10ES spark plug. It's one of the coldest spark plugs I could find. Cold running being that it dissipates the heat very quickly from the end of the electrode. This reduces the chances of pre-ignition as hydrogen loves to ignite in any hot surfaces inside the engine. This is also why we ported and polished on a previous video all the engine internals to reduce that heat buildup. Okay, so we're nearly there. I've now bolted this engine onto the old generator frame that it was originally from. The idea for this engine is to be using a go-kart. It's a performance engine. So I'm going to be running a water methanol mix through the carburetor like it would have done on petrol. 
This is just to help cool that combustion chamber, get rid of those hot spots in there so we can run higher RPM. Um, well, the engine's gonna be operating at a much higher temperature, so we need to cool that down to stop the hydrogen from pre-igniting before uh, top dead center. So we're gonna be using a water methanol mix. The methanol's there to help give the engine a bit more oomph as the running on hydrogen gas, you will lose a little bit of power. So the methanol is there to help give the engine a bit more of an extra performance kick. And then the deionized water is there to help cool that combustion chamber. So I'm gonna be running this mixture into this small tank at top here, running this to the carburetor like it would on petrol, and then introducing the hydrogen gas at the bottom of the carb. Now I've only got a little bit of hydrogen gas left so it might only run for a couple of minutes, if that. The hydrogen gas in this tank has probably been in there for a long time, it's been a good few months. So there's not a lot left. So let's just fire up this engine and see how it does. Okay, so it is cold out today as you can see, there's lots of snow on the ground. So I am suspecting that there'll be a lot of condensation coming out of the exhaust. Because there's not a lot of gas left, I don't think the engine will get up to operating, operating temperature. So the exhaust gases will condense in the exhaust and come out as a water vapor. And I suspect there'll be a lot of it. But there's only one way to find out. Let's fire it up.
100% hydrogen, pure hydrogen engine. It's just run out of fuel. That actually lasted a lot longer than I thought it would. Okay, so that was the engine running. A cold start on a cold day. It couldn't be any colder, really. It took a good few pulls to get the engine going. I had a couple of issues with the valve clearances, so I had to adjust them. But apart from that, it ran absolutely fine. The water methanol did its trick, kept everything cool inside the engine. So next time, we're hopefully going to try to increase the RPM. We only got about 3,500 RPM there, so now it's time to try and increase that for a racing application. Ideally, 6,000 RPM is a minimum, but I'm actually going to be aiming for a lot more. Let me know in the comments if you've got any ideas on how we can try and increase the RPM. The ideas that come to mind would be advancing the ignition timing, variable ignition timing, or forced induction to get as much oxygen as I can into that cylinder. So let me know. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.